Hello, I'm Dr. Nicole Athern, and I'm the coordinator of the Great Plains Landscape Conservation Cooperative. In this video, I'll be discussing how structured decision analysis can help us to break down complex problems, deal with uncertainty, and focus our efforts on what matters the most. We make hundreds of decisions every day. Most are easy. Sometimes that's because the best choice is obvious. Or if there's not a lot at stake, you don't worry too much about the choice. But other times, the stakes are high and the right decision is unclear. What makes decisions hard? There are two main elements that make it hard to see the right path forward. One is when there are several different things that you hope to get from the decision, and they don't necessarily go together. Let's think about this simple example of buying a car. You want high fuel economy, but you need space. You want a car that gets great ratings for reliability and performance, but you can't spend a lot of money. So you have trade-offs. Sometimes you're making decisions that will affect people, and they want or need very different things. How do you make the best choice? The other thing that makes decisions hard is uncertainty. There are all kinds of things we don't know about, but we could learn more. So we could do research, but that takes time and it costs money. When is it worth it? And then there are other things we just can't know, like the future impacts of climate change. But we have to make a decision, even though we can't resolve the uncertainty. The problems that we're faced with in the real world usually have both of these elements. They are multiple objective problems that also involve uncertainty. We have a tendency as humans to jump straight to alternatives when we make a decision. We come up with some possible solutions and start weighing the pros and cons of each. With these complex problems, that can be a big mistake. We can miss out on more creative solutions. And it's important to think first about what we want to get out of the decision so that we stay focused on the things we care most about. I'm going to describe one model of decision making that's based on values-focused thinking. We use a model we call PROACT. It stands for the steps of the decision making process. Problem, objectives, alternatives, consequences, and trade-offs. The first step is articulating the problem. Particularly in group decision processes, this can be a critical first step. We need to be sure that everyone is on the same page. Then we identify our objectives. This is where our values come in. When we identify which outcomes we care most about, they become our guides throughout the process. They keep us on track. After we have spent time thinking about the problem and what we most want to achieve by solving it, we are ready to come up with some alternative solutions. Thinking about all of our objectives first means that we can pick alternatives that will help us achieve what matters the most, and we can be creative. Then we look at each of our alternatives and impartially evaluate how each performs against each of our objectives. This helps us to understand the consequences of each potential choice based on how well they achieve our objectives. This is where uncertainty can come into play. If the consequences depend on something we don't or can't know, we can use models to develop estimates and to quantify and document our level of uncertainty. In the trade-off step, we consider how our values and perhaps our risk tolerance play into the decision process. We can use specialized decision analysis tools to explore what our decision might mean under different scenarios. This can help us to explore the impacts of risk from uncertainty. It can also help us to look at a problem from the perspective of those who place different levels of importance on our objectives. Decision making is a very human endeavor. It is informed by science, but driven by our values and our risk tolerance. A decision analysis framework can't make your decisions for you, but it can help you to break down complex problems and articulate uncertainty and conflicting objectives. It can help you to clearly document your decision process. And it can help you to focus your decision making to help you make well-informed decisions for the most important outcomes.